Good afternoon everyone. Today I'm going to discuss the assessment of learning outcomes in OBE. So what is assessment? Why is assessment so important? So importance of assessment is assessment defines for the students what is important, what counts, how they will spend their time, and how they will see themselves as learners. Outcome best learner, this differs from the traditional content or competency-based learner in the sense that those types of learner were mainly content, skills driven, and teacher trainer centered. So outcome based learner is a learner driven and aim at achieving outcomes. The rule of the lecturer, the lecturer becomes a more facilitator learning by stimulating creativity, self-learning, and critical thinking. Outcomes become more important the lecturer than the, than the written syllabus. OBE and the learner process, outcome best is educational in a flexible, empowerment-oriented approach to the learner. It aims at equipping learners with the knowledge, competence, and orientation needed for success in their future profession. It should contribute to the objectives of improving students' learning since in OBE, there is a need first to establish a clear vision of what the students are expected to learn. Then assessment become an embedded part of the system. To be useful in OBE system, assessment should be guided by the following principles. Number one, assessment procedure should be valid. Procedure and tools actually assess what one intended to test. Number two, assessment procedure should be reliable. The result should be consistent. The number three, procedure should be fair. Cultural background and other factors should not influence assessment procedure. The number four is assessment should reflect and knowledge and skills that are important to the students. Number five, assessment should to tell both the teachers and students how the students are progressing. Number six, assessment should be support every student's opportunity to learn things that are important. Number seven, assessment should allow individuality or uniqueness to be demonstrated. Number eight, assessment should be comprehensive to cover a wide range of learner outcomes. And assessment of learning outcomes in OPE in OBE should also be guided by the four principles of OBE which are clarity of focus, designing backgrounds, high expectations, and expanded opportunity. So benefits of the lecturer, teaching will become a far more creative, innovative career. Lecturer will no longer feel the pressure of having to be source of our knowledge. We will ultimately help to transform our continent in one which we all want to live by producing thinking caring students. So effective educational goals. In the process of writing and evaluating outcomes, we will not only look towards cognitive educational goals, knowledge and understanding and the psychomotor educational goals skills but also the effective educational goals attitude and values 